Do you need to mark up your site with structured data, but you're not sure where to start? In the latest episode of Hack My Growth, we're going to be looking at Google's structured data markup tool and how we can leverage that tool to generate our JSON-LD for our site. We're also going to take a look at a few other tools that help us take this technology even further. All right, let's go. Before we get into content, if you've liked this channel or you've watched a few of the videos and you've gotten some help out of them, we would love for you to subscribe. We create new content each and every week to help you get the most out of your digital marketing efforts. So in this video, like I said in the opener, we're gonna be looking at how we can generate our JSON-LD code that we can just copy and paste right into our website. Now, this can be a barrier of entry for a number of people who want to begin to add structured data to their website, but not really sure where to start or how to create JSON-LD. So we're gonna be looking at Google Structured Data Markup Helper, as well as a few other tools that we can leverage to make the implementation of JSON-LD structured data even easier. All right, so here we are at the home of Google's Structured Data Markup Helper. As you can see here, we've got a couple different ways we can approach this. We can either do it through our website, or we can actually do it uh, through email where you can just paste HTML. Uh, the email side here, obviously it's a little bit more on reservations. Um, so unless you're doing that, you probably aren't gonna need this section. We're gonna mostly stay here in the website. So what you can do is get help with generating a few different types of markup, articles, events, movies, restaurants, book reviews and the like. As you can see, there are 12 different types that Google has right here. Now there are a number of other types available to markup. There's tons of different ways to markup your site, but if you're getting started, this is a really great place to start. What it's going to do, is going to look at your website or your HTML and allow you to work through that and structure your data. The first thing you're gonna need is a URL that you wanna markup. So we just recently had this blog posted and let's say I didn't have article markup on it and I wanted to add it, I could just copy the URL right in here and click start tagging. What it's doing is it's loading the page into the markup helper and it's actually going to allow you to use a visual editor to create your markup, which makes it extremely easy, especially to someone who's new to structured data. Now over here is the required items. Now there's a lot more items that you can add that can be very helpful when it comes to adding structured data, but these are the basics of things that you should be adding in here. The main one, the name, as you can see here, is required. All you need to do with this tool is highlight the section and then tag it. So this would be the title. And then we would find the author here. And then we'd find the publish date. Now you could either set your own date time selector or you can just let Google do it themselves, which is what I recommend, especially if you're getting started. Then for your image, you just click there and select image. Now you can do either an article section, like a section of it, or the body. So you can actually go ahead and paste all the body of this in here if you want as well. Um, and add this as the article body. Now for the URL, you actually can't go up here and, and like grab this, and you can't go back to this page necessarily. It's not gonna import it in here. So you might need to add missing tags, and that's what this button is for. So go ahead and hit add missing tags, and you can select the one that's missing. So let's say the URL is missing. We can go ahead and paste that in. Let's say the publisher is missing, which is our website. Um, let's say you wanted to add a, a review. You could do that in here. You could say, you know, the best, the worst, and the count. So you can add an aggregate review if you want to. So add what you can. Obviously, you don't have all the different options. This is going to give you the basic option. And once you're done tagging, you go ahead and select Create HTML. So what Google's done is they've spit this out now as JSON-LD. You can either download this file, you can change it, maybe you want it to be in microdata. Um, I definitely recommend using JSON-LT. You can click finish and it will give you a, a few other options here, like hey, you can learn more about um, documentation here, or we can test it. So this is actually going to open up a tool uh, that is going out, which is their structured data testing tool. But we can go ahead and take this code here and publish it here in the code snippet and run the test. As you can see here, we actually have some warnings. Um, things here that Google wants you to add into your structured data now that we don't see. So there will be some other things that we'd have to do if we were just relying on the Google Structured Data Markup tool. Now, what we can also do is try the new rich results test. Once again, we're gonna use our code here and we're gonna test it. This tool is doing something very similar to the Structured Data tool. Now, when you look at this, we're actually not getting warnings uh, at all. 
That's because the tools are slightly different, which means that this page technically is eligible for earning a rich result when it comes to the article markup. Even though the structured data tool here says, hey, you need to have a logo and you need to have headline, you should probably put date modified, you should probably put the main entity of the page. There's a lot more that can be added, but as far as the rich results go, like you can earn that. Now, this is a tool, as you can see, just by the style and look of it, it it's a little bit older. Um, it doesn't have all the different types of markup that you can create. It's really meant to just help you get started. So what if you want to go a little bit deeper? You want to make sure that you do cover all of your bases. Well, there's a number of structured data tools out there that could help you build this if you don't want to do it manually. One great tool is called uh, Steal My JSON or Steal Our JSON. It's jsonld.com. And what they do is they just give you a great template to start with right here. So with these, you could actually just copy this and then change out you know, your headline, your alternative headlines. Add the image, you can add a, a number of other things here. Like they've got award, editor, the genre, the keywords, the word count. Like you can add a ton of markup right here using this blog post one or the article schema, which we just looked at. So in article schema, you know, we've got the organization added in. They've got a number of different schema types here that you can work through. Everything from articles and blog posts to books to training courses all the way down through here where you can even do things like speakable which will be markup for um, personal assistants like Google or Alexa or Siri. So this is a really great resource if you're getting started as well just to copy and paste the code and, and change it out with the appropriate um, fields for your site or your piece of content. Another thing that I wanted to share with you is a tool that we have been building. So we're in the process of finishing up our course and one of the tools that we're going to give people who take our course, that use our course, is this generator as well. So very similar to what we did before uh, with the Google markup tool over here, we've got a form that you can fill out. So I can come over here and I could just hit uh, you know, the, the headline, right? So here's the headline of my article. Just go ahead and paste it here. I'll take the URL of that article, paste it right here. I can take the image of the article, you know, and if you ever have an image, you can just right click it and copy image address because you're going to need the actual address. Short description of the article, you know, you could take the first paragraph or create your own unique description that really summarizes it well. We can add the author type for a person, publisher date, the publisher logo, when it was published, when it was modified all those extra elements in here and we're going to continue to be expanding these tools in order to allow users to easily create their markup and put it in on their site as well so once we go ahead and put the author in here i'll show you and we'll validate it so now our script is done we can actually just click these buttons up here we can validate this code and this will open up your structured data testing tool we'll run through here no warnings, looks exactly like it should. We can also run it in the rich results test. Test this code as well. And now you can see that we have everything that we need to have. Everything's good, we don't have any warnings, and it was pretty easy to do. All we have to do now is take this code over here, we could copy it, and then put it right here into the, the header of the site or even in the body of the site, and that structured data now is going to be implemented on this article. So if you're doing pages one by one, this tool is gonna to be very helpful, I believe, for a number of people. Right now we've got article and breadcrumbs, events, um, FAQs, job posting, local organization, person, product, recipe, video and website. We're currently working on a number of other entity types or a number of other structured data types that we're going to be adding in as time goes on just to make life easier for our team as well as anybody who is going to be part of our community and leveraging our tools and resources. If you're interested to learn more about the course, you can just go to simplifiedsearch.net and sign up today. We're going to be uh, starting to really release. We're going to be starting we're going to be releasing some of the first videos in the next week or so, just wrapping up some editing. But by signing up today, you're not only going to get a free ebook, which is going to actually walk you through how to do structured data, what JSON LD is, and how you can implement it. We're going to give you access to our structured data generator. That way you can start using it and testing it out and, and seeing 
you know, whether or not you like it and to see if you can get some value out of it. So if you've got any questions on using either Google Structured Data Markup Tool, any of the other tools out there, please comment below. If you've got another tool that you like that we didn't mention in this video, please comment below. We'd love to see that tool as well and continue to build this community around users who want to use structured data to increase the visibility of their website. Thanks again for watching and until next time, happy marketing.